Hi everybody, my name's Andrew Allen Matthews, you can call me Andy. Now I'm producing short videos promoting Manchester and Salford due to my arts. Now this painting is called Salford Keys Imperial War Museum by Night. It's a night scene and a part of my Salford by Night collection. Now I like this view of Salford Keys and there's lots of history surrounding the area. Now Manchester and Salford is fast becoming modernised with lots of areas being re renovated and all we also improved Manchester and Salford as one of the leading cities of modern England. Now Salford Keys is in Salford, Greater Manchester, near the end of the Manchester Ship Canal. And it was previously the site of the Manchester Docks and it's been regenerated since the closure of the dockyards in 1982. And Manchester Dock, Docks and Pomona Docks were opened in 1894 by Queen Elizabeth. Now the Manchester Docks were the third busiest port in Britain but can, uh, containerisation and the limit placed on the size of ships passing through the, this area declined in the 1970s and they closed it in 1982 resulting in the loss of 3,000 jobs. Now the Lowry uh, Centre stands at the end of Pier 8 designed by James Sterling and Michael Wilford. It opened on the 28th of April 2000 and there are cafes, bars and restaurants at the south west end of the building. Now the centre is associated with Ellis Lowry and houses a collection of his work as who I get my inspiration from with my artwork. Um, now the Imperial War Museum North overlooks the Manchester Ship Canal on the opposite banks of uh, the Lowry and Media City UK. Um, the area uh, was heavily bombed during the Manchester Blitz in December 1940 and the museum designed by architect Daniel Limskind opened in July 2002. Its structure was designed to be a metaphor for the world shattered by war with sloping walls and ceilings and the museum has an extensive collection of historical artefacts from wars and conflicts during the 20th century. So I thought it was a fitting tribute to Salford and Manchester to paint this scene in my modern style with views by night. So a bit of history about me. Uh, I used to work in the textile industry as a commercial design separation artist. I reproduced designs for the furnishing and fashion industry for a decade. I reproduced designs for Liberty Designs, Samsons, ABC Batik and all the major high street brands in the UK. I enjoyed this career but it did not allow me to express my art in my style and I've developed my art over many years. So in the past I used to do detailed art and was not, not a relaxing way to paint and you had to do, be careful when placing every mark on paper and to be accurate within a hairline brush stroke. So the way I paint now is using a free flowing movement, using palette knife, brush and ink, using my croaking method to give movement to the characters in the scene giving the freedom to express my art in my way. Now the way I paint now is relaxing and enjoyable. Uh, I get inspiration from Alice Lowry's characters and I put a modern twist on Manchester, Salford, London and beyond as you can see in this painting. So the paintings I produce are pleasing to the eye, look good on the wall and would have done any home or business. And I'll be doing more videos of my paintings with a bit of history of me, the areas in the paintings. So if you ever get the chance to visit Manchester this is one of the historic areas in Manchester and in my opinion Manchester is a great place to visit and we're a friendly bunch of people. Uh, so all my paintings and t-shirts are available for all sale on my website which is andrewallenmatthews.co.uk and artgallery.co.uk as well. So check it out, thanks for watching my video, be positive and have a good day. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.